five marks, GCSE, non-right angle trigonometry, isn't it? So we have this big triangle here with all these lengths and angles marked. Find the area of triangle B, C, D. Okay. Well, if it's a non-right angle triangle, how do you work out the area? Well, it's half AB sine C. So guys, you kind of work backwards here. So the question is saying, work out the area of this triangle. It's not a right angle triangle. So the area is a half AB sine C. Now, if we have this angle at the moment, then we need these two lengths, okay? So this is your A, this is your B, or the other way around with your angle wedged inside being C. So we somehow need to find as many lengths and angles as possible in this triangle, preferably lengths though. One thing for sure that I can work out is CD. Using this triangle, how do you work out this opposite length? If I call it A, that is gonna be the cosine rule. Okay, so we need to do the cosine rule first. What does the cosine rule says? say? It says A squared is B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of the angle A. Now in our case, it's actually labeled, you know, appropriately relative to this. Here's your big angle A, lowercase a, and then here could be your B and your C. So we have A squared, which I'm actually going to say is CD squared, is B squared plus C squared, 5 squared plus 4 squared, minus 2, B, C, cosine of 17. And then we're going to root all that, which I'm just going to write down now. Okay. So wherever that value is, I'm just going to pretend like I've typed it. I'm going to type that in in a second. Okay. So I'm going to say I know this. Now, if I want to work out the area and I know this length and I have this angle, I need to somehow find that length. But the question is, how am I going to do that? I mean, if I look at the bigger triangle, so CB is part of this larger triangle, right? I have this length, I have 70, but I don't have AB. So it looks like I can't use the cosine rule again. If they gave me DB, then I would. But I don't know how to work out the length of DB either. There's not enough information. So I can't work out DB, I can't work out CB. So it looks like I'm gonna have to work out another angle. Okay, what other angle can I work out here? Well, the only connection between, well, the only thing that is shared between these two triangles is this length, and then these two angles here must add up to 180, right? Can I work out this angle here if I call it theta? Well, theta is opposite five. And yeah, 70 and this, we've just worked out that bit. Okay, so we can do the sine rule here. All right, nice, 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 I like it. I'm gonna start calling this CD again. So this is CD. So, sine theta, so the sine rule says sine of the angle divided by its opposite length, five, is equal to sine, well, it doesn't matter which ratio you look at, so it'll be sine 70 over CD, okay? And then we're going to multiply through by 5, okay, so that's dealt with, and then we're going to inverse sine, so we get inverse sine of 5 sine 70 over CD, okay, now I'm actually going to have to type this in super quick, so you got 5 squared, 4 squared, minus 2, 5, 4, uh, cos 70. Now I need to double check on the top of my calculator. It says radians. I need to change that to degrees and I get 5.22 Now I've shown you guys this before I'm going to store this value as capital A So I just press the STO and the A button. So here I'm actually going to label this as saying I stored this as A So here I'm actually going to use A what I stored as A in my calculator, so I don't have to retype everything. So I'm going to do inverse sine of 5 sine 70 over what I stored as A. So I press alpha A. 
if it wants to work, which it... No, is my... Ayo. Ayo, guys, my calculator is frozen. Okay, now it's working. What was that about? So 64... Point oh one dot dot dot. Now with that, I'm actually not going to store it because we want this angle. So I'm going to do 180 minus. So uh, 180 minus that. 180 minus answer is 115.98 dot 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 dot. That I'm going to store as B. Or actually, should we store it as D? Just because it's over there. Guys, you can store these values as whatever you want on your calculator. I press STO, then the button with D on it. Okay, so we have D, we have A, 25. Ah, we can work out CB now using the sine rule again. Okay, so what should we call it? X. X divided by sine D. So X divided by sine of D, which is this value is, oh, actually, if I use this length, I need this angle. So I'm actually going to have to use this value to work out this angle at B. May, that is so long. Okay, before I do this, I need the other angle. How do you work out B? B is going to be 180, take away that 25, Take away this value here, which we stored. So I already have that stored. 180 minus 25 minus alpha D, which is 39.01. Which I'm storing as B. Storing as B. Okay, so you got this, that 39.01. We've got this, which is that 115.98. We need to find X and we have A which is this value up here, okay? So this work out our, um, our x. So x, what we were doing before, divided by sine of this angle d, which was this 115.98 dot dot dot, so remember I stored that as d, is equal to a divided by sine b. a, which was this 5.226, so remember I stored that as a, over sine of b, which was this 39.01 dot dot dot. So I'm just going to times through by sine of that 115. So it's going to become times through by sine of that 115, which I stored as d. x is what? So I'm doing fraction alpha a over sine of alpha b times sine of alpha d. And this is why we store values, guys, because it allows us to just type these things in super quickly. So you get 7.463 dot dot dot. So what have I used? I've used a, d, b, I've not used c. So I'm just going to use that as the letter c. So this letter here, guys, so this here is that 7.46 which I've stored as C. Now we can do half AB sine C. So my area is now a half of this A, which was at 5.226, times this value, 7.463, sine 25. Okay, so remember this is my A, and this is my C. We'll do it to... Uh, three significant figures, so I didn't store that as C yet. So I have a half times A times C times sine 25. 8.24. And that, guys, is an a very, very, very difficult trigonometry question. So I recommend you save this video as part of a playlist or something for your trig when it comes to your revision in a couple of months. Um, but yeah, guys, if you learned something today, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe for more maths content. And if you're interested in my GCSE courses, link is in the description. And you could join the Learn Gang Reddit page if you want to submit your own questions. See you in the next video. Nice.